The objective of the Clean Space One project is to develop the technologies that are needed to remove debris from space and actually do it with our own um, CubeSat, so our own very small satellite called SwissCube. The next step for us uh, is to move the project into a startup to get uh, the complete team on board. The reason why we moved it to a startup is first because we wanted to explore a commercial future for uh, active debris removal and mostly managing the end of life of satellites in a sustainable way. We have developed over the last few years the critical technologies like the capture system which you see behind me and also the rendezvous technologies where you typically you have two objects that are very stable and that talk to each other. Removing a debris is like removing something which is tumbling. If we just let the density of debris proliferate, so it always increases with time. If the density of debris is too high, then at some point there will be too many collisions, uh, damage or destruction of useful satellites or a space telescope or space station. Space is going to become very difficult to access. This is unacceptable, so we need to do something and uh, of course we, we don't have a system to do it systematically, but we need to develop the technologies needed to do that on a regular basis in the near future. In this context, for us, it's kind of obvious that we have to remove more than one satellite by mission. This means we have to develop a chaser able to remove several objects. ClearSpace has already started working together with a group of industrial partners. Our goal is to fly the Clean Space One mission in 2024. Addressing the fundamental problem of space debris goes through a commercial operation on long term that has to be self-sustainable. And this is what we're building today.